Hi. My name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Jane Marsett. Jane Marsett, January 1, 1769 to June 28, 1858, was an innovative, successful writer of popular introductory science books. She also broke new ground with Conversations on Political Economy, 1816, which explained the ideas of Adam Smith, Malthus, and David Ricardo. Jane Marsett was born Jane Haldimand in London on January 1, 1769. Following Swiss tradition, she was educated at home with her brothers. Her studies included Latin, essential for the sciences, chemistry, biology, and history, as well as topics more usual for young ladies in England. Jane was married in 1799 to Alexander John Gaspar Marsett, a political exile from Geneva. Switzerland who had graduated from medical school at the University of Edinburgh as a physician in 1797. Alexander was strongly interested in chemistry, and became a lecturer at Guy's Hospital in London and a fellow of the Royal Society. When Jane became interested in learning more about chemistry, they conducted experiments together in a home laboratory, discussing the scientific principles involved. After Jane's father died in 1817, she received a substantial legacy that enabled Alexander Marsa to devote himself full-time to chemistry. Alexander, in his turn, understood and supported his wife's need for intellectual engagement and productive work. After helping to read the proofs of one of her husband's books, Marsa decided to write her own, and produced expository books on chemistry, botany, religion, and economics under the general title Conversations. In her prefaces, Marsit explicitly addresses issues of whether such knowledge is suitable for women, arguing against objections and stating that public opinion supports her position. Marsit also popularized the arguments of political economists like Adam Smith, Malthus, and above all David Ricardo, in her Conversations on Political Economy, 1816. This was well received and widely read, although some later economists such as Alfred Marshall were dismissive, to the detriment of its later reputation and Joseph Schumpeter derided it as economics for schoolgirls. After her husband's unexpected death in 1822, Mars had continued to be active in scientific circles, and updated and published new editions of her major work throughout her life. Her last edition of Conversations on Chemistry appeared when she was 84. In later life, Mars had wrote new works mainly for children, perhaps with her grandchildren in mind. Mary's Grammar, 1835, became a classic. Jane Marsett lived for the latter part of her life with a daughter, in Piccadilly, London. She died there on June 28, 1858. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Jane Marsett. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivins.